in an effort of trying to cut down the production cost of raising our layers, especially in the domain of medication, we browsed through Google and YouTube and we came across the use of charcoal. So in this video, we are going to show to you how or the result which we obtain by using charcoal in treating our layers with some common diseases. So please watch this video to the end as we show to you the results which we obtain by using charcoal. So to begin, it is important to know that charcoal it is the residue which is being obtained from burnt wood. So the charcoal which is advisable to be used in your poultry farm, it is the charcoal which is obtained from wood that has not been treated. For instance, wood such as electrical poles are not advisable to be used for charcoal. So, here at Otto's Farms, we make use of charcoal which are not having chemicals and good for consumption by our chickens. In order for us to test the importance of charcoal on our birds, we had to set aside some of our birds which were affected by coccidiosis and white diarrhea. First of all, it is important to note that white diarrhea is characterized by what whitish and watery droppings, while coccidiosis is characterized by brown and bloodish droppings. So, after the administration of charcoal on these our beds which were affected during a period of two weeks which we used to administer the charcoal to them we came to realize that their droppings became normal so given the fact that the application of charcoal on our layers it is a new experience we made use of it on a smaller scale we couldn't make use of it on a larger scale because it is the first time of us using this experience this has been proven to be very helpful on treating coccidiosis and white diarrhea. If you are getting more value concerning poultry farming from our contents, please do subscribe on our channel so that we keep on updating you on videos which will help you in your poultry farming. So during the course of applying charcoal on our beds, we came to notice that it helped in reducing ammonia gas. This is so because the charcoal helped to absorb moisture from the droppings of our birds. As such, ammonia gas could not easily be reproduced. Back in our childhood, we've always been hearing that charcoal is very useful in eradicating poison. So, the application of charcoal in poultry farm helps also to eradicate poison, especially for birds that are in free range. For instance, here at Otto's Farm, we applied charcoal to our feet, which was contaminated by mold. This mold, since it is a result of fungi infection, with the use of charcoal, it helps subdue the impact of fungi on our birds. So, in conclusion, we can say that charcoal helps in egg production by solidifying and enhancing the size of the egg. So in conclusion, we can say that charcoal helps in enhancing egg production by solidifying the egg shell and also the size of the egg increases. I'm sure you must be asking yourself how this charcoal is being given to the birds. Here at Otto's farm, we simply make sure that the charcoal is grind in the form of finisher feed. That is to say, the charcoal shouldn't be too dusty because if it is too dusty, it would affect the respiratory tract of your birds. So it should be given in such a way that the birds can easily pick them and swallow without it being dusty. In order for us to apply the use of charcoal on a larger scale on our 3,000 layers, we will be carrying out more tests which 
we will be bringing to you or updating you so please do subscribe to our channel in order for you to be updated when we post more results on the importance of charcoal on poultry farm